Thursday. Welcome to your workout. <laughs> okay, everybody. So today, Thursday, 7th of May, we have got 18 curtsy lunges for you. We've got 12 burpees and we've got nine pike push-ups. And we're trying to do as many rounds of that 18, 12, 9 as you can in between 15 or 20 minutes. Up to you to decide how long and hard you work for. Okay, so 18 curtsy lunges. If you can't do curtsy lunges, just scale that down. We're either going to reduce the reps down or we're going to scale them down to walking lunges. The 12 burpees, again, we're going to either reduce the burpees down to 8 or 10 or we're going to scale them to kickbacks. And then the 9 pike push-ups, again, we'll reduce the reps or we're going to scale the pushbacks, we're going to reduce the angle on the pike push-ups, or we're going to scale to push-ups. All right, so we'll go through what you should be looking at from a rep range, and we'll also look at how long you want to work for. For those of you who uh, need a little bit less work, we'll scale it to 15 minutes, and we'll probably do, say, like 14, 10, 6, or 14, 8, 6. You can choose how many reps you want to go. It feels good. Okay, so the idea is to get your lungs going and it's going to be a bit of a grinder, continuous 15 to 20 minutes, there's no built-in rest and there's quite a lot of midline work, lungs, shoulders, everything for your thumping Thursday workout. Okay, so let's have a look at our movements. We'll use our alternative reality mat today, as the kids got to make for me before we're going. So first one, our curtsy lunge. What you're doing, remember it's a cross, you can even do it in a nice little hand, so it's a cross curtsy lunge. But you're going to try and push that foot back a little bit further than usual from here. You're going to press back, press, when you push back up, try and keep this heel down, make sure this knee stays straight. Push from the hip, press back up, one, press, two, press, three, okay, from the side what you're looking for. There's a press back, cross, one, if you want to go a little bit deeper, if your knees feel okay, you can touch the knee to the floor, two, Three, touch the knee to the floor. Four. All right. If you are not comfortable in the hips and the knees, you're going to go into a normal walking lunge. You're going to step back, touch, push up with the front hip, press, push up with the front hip, press. If your knees don't like the lunges, we're going to go into air squats. All right. From there, let's press back. Nice air squats for your lunges instead of lunges. All right. And if you're going to do the full 18, it's 9 on the left, 9 on the right, alternating left and right. If you want to do slightly less reps, cut your reps down to 12, even down to 10, if you need to cut your reps down. For your burpees, burpees, you're going to look something like this. And your burpee, knees to floor, chest to floor, push up, clap, knees to floor, chest to floor, clap if you're doing kickbacks. Jump as well. Woohoo! If you're really excited about woohoo, your burpees and your kickbacks today, you can give a woohoo inside. That'll be your burpees or your kickbacks. Scale those down to eight or ten if you need to. And then your pike push ups. So remember, the more you get your shoulders over the top of your hands, the more work to the head. So from there, tuck the head in, top of the head, touch, press. If you want to put a pillow in the middle, Touch your top of the head to the pillow, touch, push back, lock those arms out, okay? Make sure you're not doing here. All right, if you need to scale it, push back a little bit, touch, press, just scale. If you need to do a push up, you can do knees to floor, chest to floor on a push up. If you need to do push ups, we can do strict push ups as well instead of doing a pike handstand push up. Okay, and you can scale those reps down. What I'm looking for, depending on how conditioned your shoulders are, this may be a little bit of a bottleneck for you. So you may get to like five or six reps. Ideally what is I want to try and keep you moving the whole way through this. Okay. So you may even find that your first four or five reps are much more of a pike. Your second two reps, a little bit more of an angle. Your last two push-ups are going to be more of a push-up than a pike. Okay. So you can scale that movement as you go through, all the way through. And that's your workout. Choose whether you're going to do it for 15 minutes or, or 20 minutes. 20 minutes are obviously going to work a little bit, a little bit longer in your lungs and your shoulders and your legs. But that's good for your Thursday workout. All right, remember today we're doing the unloaded version. The fully loaded and the partially loaded version are back squats. So barbell back squats or dumbbell squats. 
you've got some single arm pressing on that so if you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell or some kind of a bar to add some weight you can have a look at the workouts see if we can add your weight on the workouts you can always add some workout to the shoulders if you want to for the curtsy lunge you can hold them down by your sides for a bit of a curtsy lunge so you're waiting waiting uh, weighted cur curtsy lunges if you've got a dumbbell you can do a press instead of a shoulder press with burpees you can do just to get your heart rate really nasty as well Alrighty, if you need a bit more of a warm-up briefing and coaching around that, I can take you to that now. Okay guys, so your warm-up for today, we're going to do slightly longer warm-up today. We're going to spend five minutes getting warm, go for a run, skip maybe, fast feet, do some jumping jacks, run around with the kids, chase the dog with the ball if you haven't chased him for a ball with the while he needs your attention. All right, once you're warm for five minutes, we can do a dynamic warm up. All right, what it means, or dynamic mobility. We can do some bear crawls, some long lunge stretches with a Samson stretch. We can do some sumo squats, some bird pickers, some toy soldiers, some frog jumps. We can do one or two rounds of that. We're going to be doing about 10 reps of each. So let's show you what those look like. Your bear crawl, it's going to look like this. Remember, straight arms and legs for the most part. And you're going to work forward, get the shoulders warm. You're going to need them for that overhead work on the pikes, going forwards in that direction. Remember to push back, backwards bear crawl. You're probably going to do about 10 meters in that direction. 10 meters back. Okay, that's your bear crawl. Your long lunge and Samson stretch. So you're going to step forward into a lunge. Step forward, your lighters need to rest on the floor. Okay, you're going to bring your arms up. You're going to press. You're trying to open up these hips as much as possible while pressing that arm out into an overhead position. So press, reach, and then lean back. You're going to feel the stretch right through the abdominals, front of the hips, quadriceps, press, and back, and press up, step, stretch, two, step, press, three. The thing you need to focus with these is that because your knee is resting on the floor, you need to make sure you engage properly into the hip every time you press up, okay? Make sure when you step up, you're not pushing from here, fire up the hips, push from the hip, Back down, straight, push from the hip, and then back down to the next lunge for those Samson stretches. You can do, say, five on the one side in the one direction, five on the other side, do 10 in total. After doing the long lunge stretches and the Samson stretch, we do a sumo squat. So we're trying to get some mobility inside the legs, lower back. It's gonna help with some of the squat work and the lunge work we did just now. So from there, nice and deep, back stretches up. Double bounce at the bottom, work on the mobility. Stretch, two, three, and just give yourself two, three bounces at the bottom of every squat. To stretch, two, three, and nice and deep again. Stretch, two, three, remember what you're looking for? The knees aren't coming forward here. Right there, hips are pressing back. So the work is here, back straight, chest up, you're not down there. And also firing up and getting that midline. Nice and warm as well while we're doing those sumo squats. Next one is a bird pecker. So we're going to come down. You can use both hands if you want to. Or you can use a single hand. We're going to come down. Stretch. One. Other side. Stretch two. Make sure the hamstrings are warm. Stretch three. Otherwise you can just do like a single hand touch. One. Touch. Two. Touch. So alternating left, right. Again, five to 10 on one side, five to 10 on the other side. Next one is a toy soldier. So we're gonna go forward again. Back straight, chest up, trying to let the body collapse. Shoulders back, keep those hips up forward. And you're gonna kick that leg up as high as you can to the opposite foot, opposite toe. So touch, touch if you can't get too high. And keep it low, but trying to let this happen. So no kicking forward. Okay, well no body collapsing forward. If you go slightly higher, hold up nice and high, stretch the hamstrings, back straight, chest up. Those are your toy soldiers. Okay, and then your last one is a froggy jumps. So you're gonna start in the squat position. Some of you may not like this with your knees, in which case just go into air squats, right? But your froggy jumps gonna get your quads, hips, and knees warm. You can stand, jump, and jump. Jump, and what you're looking for every time you come back down, stretch into the hips, hands onto the floor, jump, and you're stretching. 
Five jumps in one side, five jumps the other way. It's going to be awesome. Do one round, see how you feel. If you feel like you need to do another round, do a second round all the way around. Make sure you're nice and warm from that dynamic mobility. Okay, that's the warm up and the dynamic mobility. Then we're doing squat better project number six today. So this is your mobility that should prepare you for the squat work and the lunge work that we're gonna do here. The focus of our squat better project today, number six, is strength in the hip and the legs. Okay, so hip girdle, unilateral strength work. We've got 20 seconds descending box squats. We've got eight of those, so it's a really slow descending squat, so we're controlling that movement in the hips back. And we've got um, Bulgarian lunges, so it's a single leg Bulgarian lunge I'm gonna show you. So the descending box squat, what we're looking for is control through the movement. So you can work on a slightly low box if, if your chair is too high, if you've got a box, work on a box, if you've got a chair or a bench, you can work on that. You may find that the chair is too high, you may wanna try a couch, or maybe something even just a little bit lower, something that's gonna work your depth at the bottom of your squat. Feet shoulders apart, you're gonna press back, stomach tight, press back, press back, press back, press back, touch, and press, one. Press back, press back, press back, touch, press up two, all right? If you need to work on something lower, try and work on something lower. If you find that even a box is too high for you, then you're gonna work on the D settings. You're gonna press back, press back, chest up, chest up, shoot through. Press, press, press. And there's almost a little bounce at the bottom, so you're really trying to work your range of movement at the bottom. So from there, press, press. What I don't want to see is a low tummy tucking in. You've got to keep this here, pressing out to keep that strong midline. Work the bottom, press through. You're doing eight of those. So eight slow descending box squats or slow descending, slow descending squats. All right. Then we're going to do into your Bulgarian lunge. The Bulgarian lunge, it works by putting one foot onto a chair or a box or something that's elevated behind you. The more elevated it is, the more difficult it's going to be. And the mechanics that you're looking for is the same as a squat. So often what happens is when we lunge, is we feel that that knee wants to move forward first. All right, you've got to focus on this hip pressing back as if you were squatted. So from there, press back into a squat, press back into a squat. One. Press back into a squat, press back into a squat. Two. So you're getting a lot more single work through. If you can't go as deep as that, that's fine. Go as deep as you're comfortable with. You may need to take that leg behind you a little bit more. And we're going to press back, press back, press back. And press one. Make sure this knee doesn't fall inwards. Try and keep the knee nice and straight with the toe, the knee, the hip. And you're pressing back, pressing back, hold. Okay, and press. This back foot on the side here. You can either have it up on the toes. You may start on the toes. Okay, you may find that gets uncomfortable. You may even want to put it flat on the foot. One. Okay, just don't put any weight on that back foot. Press back, press back, press back. So you may be able to go deeper when the foot is flat like this here. Push up three. If you put a cushion on a box, on the chair, it may make it easier. We're doing eight reps on the left, eight reps on the right. If eight reps is too much, cut the reps down. Do four reps and four reps. A possible scaling option for some of you would be to do a single leg okay, squat. So you're gonna sit back, you're gonna, instead of taking the leg behind you, you take this leg in front of you. You're gonna sit back onto the chair. Ooh. Press up, one. Sit back onto a chair. Press up. So you're trying to do this. And drop. And then trying to rock forward. Keep the stomach tight, chest up. Press, drive from the hips, drive. Pressing up. Do again. Four to eight reps on the left, four to eight reps on the right. We're doing about three rounds in total. So you're going to do your eight slow descending box squats. Okay. And we're doing eight lunges on the left, 48 on the left, 48 on the right. And we're doing three rounds in total. Try and get as much work out of that squat work and this lunge work as you can. That's going to give you better squats overall. Okay, that's your squat better project for today. Last little bit, your workout prep. So by now you should have a good idea of how many lunges you're going to do, how many burpees, what, uh, how many pike push-ups you're going to do, or what scaling option you're going to be able to do as well. If you're strong enough to do the, skirt, the curtsy lunges, do those. If you can do the full burpees, chest to floor, do those. If you can do a pike overhead, go as much as your shoulders can hand, handle. And give yourself, say, five reps of each, five to 10 reps of each. Do a run through twice. Make sure you're comfortable with the movement. 
set your clock, set your, set your stopwatch, either for 15 minutes or for 20 minutes, and do the workout. That's your Thursday. Have an awesome Thursday workout. We'll see you tomorrow Friday for your Friday workout. Thank <laughs> you.